Hold on, it's Lars, it's your boy. Brandon abandoned, flooring with airbag stickling, 6-4. As you can tell, I'm kind of ducked out of the rain here. It's quite a rainy day and I forgot my umbrella, but I wanted to show you guys this one. I was here. It's a bit of a drive, so I didn't want to have to drive all the way back home. It's something different. I don't explore much in the rain. Maybe it'll turn out to be a good video. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Property is absolutely beautiful. You guys are going to love it. Let's jump right in there. Let's try to stay dry. Let's get exploring. So on the property here, like it's big, it's absolutely beautiful. We've got a barn there. We've got a pool over here. We've got a little garage there. And then we got this beautiful house. Looks like it should be sitting by the water. I don't know why, for some weird reason, it's just got a, a lakefront look to it. Well, let's do a little peek here first. Like beautiful, beautiful brickwork around. Even here with the big stones, all the good chunks. It's been raining a bunch. That could be part of the reason why the pool still got this much water in it. But check this out. Look how cool this is. Some serious wood beams too. This thing was built to last. This isn't going nowhere. This would survive many, many winters out here. Sucks that it's just gonna probably be demolished along with the house and the barns. Look at that. Man, that's amazing. This is serious, solid woodwork. They even had a bathroom out here. Plumbing set up. They had a sink. They had power, because they've got a plug here. That was quite interesting. Now we'll probably check out the barns before we check out the house. I hope that's all right. I hope there's not much water on the screen. What a beautiful area. If I'd have known about this, I would have cleaned out this pool and I would have been having parties here all summer. Look how beautiful this is. Even with the big giant light here with the big power, everything. Like that's sweet. You could swim here in the dark. Well, it wouldn't even be dark because of that light. You'd be able to swim here at night. Very cool. All right, everybody, look at this beautiful barn. Looks like it was an extra garage, but it's very well, very well built. Mmm, it's got that abandoned smell. Like it's been a while. That's pretty neat. Is that a speaker for like a stereo? 
Or is that an intercom for people inside the house to call out here for time to come for dinner? It's pretty cool. A brick fireplace. The ceiling wood's proper. It's what it should be. But then you got plywood the rest of the way. Very cool. Whoop. Myself tied up on those, those poles. Just want to show you a little bit of the property out the door. It's got a big old hill. Nice valley. Looks like they had a garden over there. You could see some pots and stuff built there. Very, very cool. We're going to go around there all the way over to those buildings before we check out the house. So meet me there. Stay dry. I'm going to take a few pictures here. We've made it. It almost sounds like there's a lot of water running, but I think it just might be the metal roofs. Yeah, definitely. Jerry. Whoop. There you go. People like to put their names in the concrete when they build things. That's for sure. It's an old thing for a door. The rain does make it sound nice, though. Gives a little bit something different. Oh. Giant mosquito. See what's happening over here. My boots are quite wet. It's a very nice little horse barn. Let's get the light out again. This little area. And everything's built nice. Like, see how the wood's all proper? There's no gaps. Everything's flush on the end. Whoever built this was skilled and knew what they were doing. Took the time. First aid stuff. No first aid stuff. Horses rock. Patrick's locker. Whoop. All right. And there's also power through here. Beautiful. A lot of switches. They even had a phone out here. Which makes sense. You're going to spend hours out here doing stuff with the horses. So you might as well. And there's an upstairs, so we'll have to check it out. A <laughs> nice chair. Another toilet. This place had toilets everywhere. It's just a cool looking pipe with all the little warnings on it like that. I've not seen that before. And where it said Jerry in the other one, here we've got Patrick. Very cool. I hope these stairs are going to hold me. Empty. <laughs> we got hello, we got the morning. One scoop of crunch. One and a half scoop of freezer feed. The evening, three mugs of beet pulp. Half a scoop of freezer feed. They got babe, she's got different different food maybe she's an allergy she needs some extra strength recovery scoops and then Angie very cool now let's see just what's going on up here oh. so they had it tarped off real nice 
I don't see any insulation in there, but it could have been hay. It could have just fallen out and blown out these windows. So I'm not 100% sure how long it's been abandoned for. But it's been... It's been at least five years, I know this. Just wanted to see maybe what was hiding in here, but it's just material. Just a shelf to hold material. Beautiful forest. Look at the way the leaves are turning. Surprised there's no cars on this property, but again, these people, they took care of all their stuff. They were very pristine. I don't see them leaving a rusted car on a property. Not this property. It looks like it was very well maintained, very well cleaned. I'm going to climb down out of here and I'll meet you guys over at the house. And I didn't even realize that that's a futon sitting there. So it was either just for people to take a seat if they needed a break while other people were working still, or maybe, maybe somebody slept out here with the horses. Why not, right? They're family. Sometimes they're sick or they're afraid and you got to spend the night with them. Everything's a baby once. Everything has to grow up. So, it's awesome. Hopefully they were spending time out here like they were family. Under the umbrella tree. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been under an umbrella tree. I was a kid way back when I first found one as a fort. This one doesn't go all the way to the ground, but come on, look at that. It's beautiful. Let me give you guys an outside, an outside pick. Boom. Under the umbrella tree, when life was a whole lot simpler. I love it. So unfortunately, this nice front door isn't open. The funny thing about this is, oh, the paint peeling up there. See, you know it's been a while because they wouldn't let their house go like that. But the rest of the way, everything is so pristine. You know there's people that don't like germs? I'm pretty sure the person that opened this door is one of those people. All right, no cars. Let's just do one of these just in case. Because he obviously didn't want to touch the doorknob because he was worried about the germs. So instead, he just took the window out. Right. Now that we're inside, I'm gonna attach my light properly. So, tiny little walkway in to get in here. Comes to a, actually quite a, oh, look at all the mosquitoes. Nasty. Just walked into like 50 of them. Right. Yeah, nice big, real big uh, kitchen. That's what I was looking for. Sorry, I was too busy trying to figure out what the big black thing was on the ceiling. Looks like they had something screwed in, and then they just kind of pulled it out at the end. But that, it's a very beautiful little. I wouldn't say necessarily open concept, but it's it's getting there. And again, they packed up everything. There's not going to be need for me to open up every drawer. Some pretty cool lights. I like this little bar area. You can tell the house is a bit farmhouse-ish to go along with the barns, but they definitely tried to, tried to make it a lot more up to date. There's so many flying bugs in here. See, like they were trying to take care of the place. They've got the plastic up over the windows. They've got wood in. Just unfortunately, those bugs do. Well, some sort of poop. Yeah, nice, nice little chopping block. But yeah, some people, they just seem to not care. 
if it's glass, they're gonna get in. It sucks, but unfortunately, fortunately not everybody in this world is very housebroken. Is that the proper word? <laughs> Look at this, beautiful. Well, there's your stairs for upstairs. I haven't been upstairs. I haven't been upstairs. And beautiful property. Lots of grass to cut. That's cool. Real nice vent. It's crazy that there's so much wood left in there. They put plastic up top so nothing really would fall in. Just hopefully nobody decides they want to start that up. Got some pot lights in the ceiling. Now this, there's no power in the house. This is gonna have batteries in it again because the panel for the house is... The energy box was literally right on one of the sides of the house here. I think it actually might have been here, but it's completely gone. Can we see it? No. If I can, I'll show you, but you know, it's got the big glass dome on it. Well, the glass dome's right off. All the wires are pulled out. It's just an empty, an empty metal box. Look at that little closet, holy. I would put shelves across and at least use it like a little pantry. That was the front door there. Nice little closet. This one's bigger than the other one. Because again, the other one wasn't a closet. It was more just a little storage area. But look at all the bugs all around here too. This is nasty. This is like the exorcism. The exorcist. See now this? It's unlocked, but it doesn't want to open. We've got something. Something jimmy in it. Which would be the reason why they took out the other glass. Oh no. Look at the water on the floor. You guys see that? It's coming from that crack right there. So this place is gonna look really bad really soon because it is the rainy season. Check it out. It's raining good. So this is going to definitely have a gigantic hole right here come next summer. Some animal fur all over the ground too. Maybe there was, maybe there was a dog. Unless I was Rhythm Riders Husky. <laughs> well, that's beautiful. They spent, they spent all their money in the bathroom here. Huge. Huge and beautiful. It's a real nice tub. Oh. All tiled off. See all the bugs still flying around? Like, this is gross. Is there any water? No. 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 That was it. <laughs> the last little bit of life. Did you hear it kind of screaming, squealing? A little bit of a bubble. Nice windows to look at while you're sitting in there. That's awesome. Big, beautiful shower. And nice lights on the ceiling too. Nice pot lights all the way around. Nice big shower. That's awesome. All tiled in. I like it. So, we are all going to Venture upstairs together. 
and see exactly what's going on up there. Some serious wood. Everything's getting real squeaky and creaky. All right, we'll check out these little rooms before we go behind me into that big main room. That's a groovy floor. I wouldn't even know what color to call that. Is that pink, purple? Nice yellow closet. <coughs> There's a lot of chips and stuff out there though. It doesn't look too good. Cobweb just wrapped around my ear. This is a nice like walk-in closet. Keep all of your linens, extra blankets and towels. Look at that fancy light. Jesus. Looks like it, you could use it to massage your dog's head. Right? <laughs> like one of those things. Ah, oh, that one's broken. A shoe and a peace sign. So I would say this could be your girl's room. The daughter. We're behind the, the garage there now. Just for a little reference, I love this built-in desk. It still works good, sorry. Cobweb again on my face. That one tickled me. Just got an empty closet. But very cool. I'd love to have that little area to do my editing. And now, we gotta step up into this bad boy. The big serious ceiling. So the lady can hang her, her coats. Maybe a nice dress. It was beautiful. What a room. You can see your pool. You can see your horse barn. What a property. I'm gonna show you out the other window in a second too. I want you to see that view. Ooh. Doesn't want to open easy. I'm not gonna fight it. Oh, look at all the cigarettes there, eh? Somebody like to just stand here and smoke. That's why the husband had this area built, because the wife didn't like his smoking inside. So he says, you know what? I'm gonna put a door in our bedroom. I'm gonna put a little walkway on the top of the garage and boom, I'll just smoke out there. But then it'd be winter time and he would just have the door open, smoking a little bit. You guys know the whole situation. That's awesome. I love when you see little things like that and you can, you can tell people are all the same. You can kind of know what, what they were doing. Beautiful little tub, but it's a bathroom inside their, inside their bedroom, which is beautiful. I like that sign there, a pearl. Cabinet. Again, high ceilings in here too, all the way up. Somebody left a monster drink. Almost looks like that mirror would open, but the cabinet is right there. No lights, no lights. A nice big beam going across, I didn't notice that. Oh, you see that? See the cobwebs on my... Fighting on my camera. I don't even know where I picked them up. Alright, as promised, I just want to show you guys a little bit. But you're just in at the top of a valley. 
overlooking everything. Is that not like a gorgeous view? I'm sorry, it's fog uh, cloudy. Possibly if by the time I put this video out, there's a sunny day, I'll come back because that would be a nice view in the sun. Just to show you guys how clear and how far it can actually go. Well, this is cool. But I guess I'll meet you all at the basement. We will make our way down. Looks like the rain's stopping. Too bad I'm not just starting. <laughs> no, I didn't mind that. I didn't get too wet. And it's a different feel. Ooh. Definitely smells like an abandoned house down here. Hello. Oh man. If I can get in here. You see the cobwebs, but all of the, all the spider eggs in them? Gross. Gross. This is going to be quite the small, oh, no, there's another little doorway right there. This is cool. Let me see what's going on here. There's a pump on the ground. Some old school metal. They had a little bit of T-bar up here just so that they could access that vent which is kind of weird i almost think maybe they were they were hiding something up there the newspapers down here from march 3rd 2020. so maybe it's only been it's only been three years Maybe it's only been three years. I've been lied to. I love how they've got all those shelves built in there. And the ceiling, it's, it's got different levels, right? That one, lower, higher, lower. So you, you can hit them all. It almost looked like it was just from from time, you know, when the ceiling starts to come down, especially when it's an abandoned spot. But that is meant to be that way, built that way. Mmm, that wood smells good. That's snazzy. Again, no power. Into the dungeon. We got a sink, a whole bunch of pipes and electrical. Got your oil unit. We got a 65 inch TV. Home improvement, you know? I hope somebody does or I just sound like an idiot. Nice big, big shelf. So that's it for the basement. Not too, too much. It's not too big, but this room here itself is just very cool. Enjoy, enjoy a nice wooden basement like that with some brick. I guess that's gonna be it for the video, everybody. I'm gonna talk to you guys out there by the pool. All right, everybody, what do you guys think about this spot, eh? Such a beautiful property, such a beautiful part of the world. I absolutely love it. The house was amazing, the pool was amazing. Sucks there wasn't too much left inside, but Sometimes that happens, right? People like to take all their stuff when they leave, especially if it's real nice stuff. I had to take all my stuff, even if it wasn't the nicest stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you all for the love and the support. Like it, subscribe it, share it. Thank you for the comments, for the love again, for the views, again, for all your support. Brandon Abandon, and I'll catch you on the next Explore. Ciao.